Taurus, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Val for your three tarot and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with you today here, Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Notes. Of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Wow. Okay, Taurus. So I see you here, but I also see someone else here very strongly. Um, whatever's going on with whoever this is, whoever this is, this is someone that is definitely very good and sneaky and strategic and skilled at how to cheat and be a player. You would never know it. They have a full-blown family and kids or something. And they have people on the side. That's not for all of you with whatever's going on here with who this is. But whoever this is right away, not only are they someone that likes to stay quiet in such a way where you think they're harmless and there's nothing going on. They're like, they always are a recluse. They stay at home all the time. Or even if they're out in public, they're just kept to themselves. They never really say much. It's because there's so much that they have to say to someone else. So whatever's going on, this person's not willing to reflect, heal, maybe go to therapy, help themselves, basically be wise about what they're doing. And instead, they're very reclusive in a toxic way. And this is where they have extreme lust or passion, either towards you or, you know, who they're with or someone else or whatever. There's some messy, flirtatious uh, player, you know, sexual lust type stuff going on that this person's doing or trying to do, whether it's towards you or with whoever. There's a lot of physical stuff going on with this person. Either they're wanting this with you or trying it with you, they want to, or they're definitely cheating on whoever they're with. Regardless, it looks like it makes them more irritated and feel threatened in their position, you know, with their life, their status, level of success. This is someone that could be a mother figure or a father figure, and they're highly irritated and pissed off that they have to be that, literally, or who they're married or in a relationship with. Um, now for some of you, it doesn't have to be this for who this is. I do see that this person also is really annoyed and irritated with their job and their career path and whatever goes on there. Okay. But this is someone that wants control, feels out of control, but does have power to an extent of their position to get away with more really rogue things. So... Okay, and some of you, it's very clear that some of you are dealing, these could be parental figures to you, like your own parents, or a completely random couple and or relationship outside of you um, that are having some serious problems. Okay, I'm talking bad problems. Like these two people, absolutely, I don't know if it's you and them, I don't know. All I know is whoever this is, they hate each other. Like these two people can't, they're at each other's source, they cannot stand each other. Like they are equally doing the worst things to each other, okay? In any way, shape, or form. Rage, aggression, fighting, using one another, you know, in any way, cheating on each other, wanting more fame, fortune, greed, success, whatever. So it's weird. It's like a story about this person instead of like with you. I see your energy and you're just kind of like there hidden. So the thing is, is whoever this is, like I said, they with their position and all that, then they choose once again to kind of do a few more things here. 
because they feel out of control and self-threatened, they choose to do a few things here. Whoever, one, whoever they're in a marriage or relationship with, they're trying to literally force a child. They're trying to purposely have a kid to get their way. For others of you, this is someone that, like I said, it's your own parental figures that are just giving you problems. And, or this is someone that like, you know, it could be, I don't know, coworker. It's like something about their image, wealth, money, status, a level of success. It still isn't enough, even though they have more than enough. So it's like, you know, whatever they have, whoever they're with, everything is, you know, they, they have it all. It's just not enough. They're still not fulfilled. They're still not happy. They don't like love. They don't want love with whoever they're with. Now, at the same time, they're, what they're showing is there's two people here outside of you. This They're showing me who they're cheating with is what I'm saying. Whoever this is, they already feel like they're more in a relationship with who they're cheating on. Okay, so I don't know how you know all this. All, this is like tea for you today, Taurus. I don't know. Anyway, they know they're being deceptive. The thing is, is like they know they shouldn't be doing this, but they don't care. They're going to keep doing it. They just want to do it better. So they want to keep being deceptive and sneaky and cheating and scamming a little bit better than what they've been doing. Like even they know they've been a bit messy and sloppy. Okay. And so it looks like here that for some of you, this could be someone that you just recently divorced or you're in the middle of a divorce, which makes sense. For others of you, it looks like here, this is someone that's choosing to, and they don't have to be in the divorce with you or not. I don't know the situation, but this, this is crazy. So oh, what a mess this person is. Okay. So they're choosing to do a few things here. The deception is getting in trouble with the law, doing illegal things getting uh, doing some crazy some messed up twisted political whatever judicial type of stuff getting uh, they're tied up to some serious messed up contracts and or trying to get you involved in all this mess okay uh, or they're just like they know what to do in their life to make it more smooth and balanced and better and they don't want to do that whatever that may be of all those things that's when you show up <laughs> You show up finally and you're like, well, I have some things to say. Oh, I'm learning so much. This is what's going on. Hmm. You become enlightened. You become aware. There are some messages that come through to you. You have good news that's coming through for you as well. You, you, you know, there's something here that you now feel motivated and inspired and enlightened enough and passionate enough to get up and do something or say something or learn. Right there is where they get so pissed off with you, so aggressive, so annoyed, so irritated with you and others. They, you know, they could be spreading hate. They could be saying the most harsh, mean words to you, being aggro, confused, indecisive, irritated, just basically wanting to attack just to attack because they already know what they're doing. All right. Excuse me. So you could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, excuse me. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Excuse me. All right. Thank you. Bye.